Hey guys, I wanted to share my curriculum picks for my um, soon to be third grader for our next school year, her third grade school year. Um, and we're trying really hard to not overcomplicate things, which is hard for me because I like to overcomplicate things. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you what we have. There's a couple things we haven't completely decided on yet, so I'll show you kind of what our choices are. Um, but yeah, so here we go. I found this on eBay and it is like the actual textbook. It's not a work text. So what I like about this is one, it's very colorful. And two, let me just turn to a lesson. So she and I can go through this together. We can do these practice problems together. Then she can have some independent practice on her own. And then I purchased also, I think all of these are from eBay, they weren't very much, um, the reteaching and practice workbook. So there's basically um, one page front and back for each lesson. So she can do this after we work in the textbook together. And then if I still feel like she needs more practice, um, then I can give her a page. I ordered the homework workbook too, which we won't really use as homework. Um, but I think these ones, are they just one-sided? Let me see. Yeah, they're just, it's just one-sided. So if she were to need more, then we have that. The other thing that I like, um, that when she used this program in public school was there were some online components. And because we didn't purchase this new, we don't really have access to that. But I did find a CD with the visual learning animations, and these are really helpful. We used them um, before. And then I found the grade three quiz show, which goes um, along with each lesson. So I think those will be good um, components to this. I think this will be a good fit for us, but um, we will see. But I'm excited about it. We're, so I should show you what this covers in case you're interested. Um, let me see, yes, grade three topics. And, oh, there you go, grade three. All right, so there you go, that is All right, moving on to science, we are using mostly core knowledge for our science. Core knowledge is, um, you can get most of the materials for free if you want to print them yourself, or they have, um, you can buy the student reader and the teacher um, book if you want. But core knowledge is the company that makes the what your first grader needs to know books, but they also um, have a curriculum that a lot of public schools use. Um, and there's a lot of things that I like about it. We are going to use it for science, and we're going to use parts of it for history um, and geography, which I'll explain when we get to that. But um, I find their website a little bit hard to navigate, just kind of a heads up, and they are updating a lot of their topics that they're covering in certain grades. So some of their books um, are outdated. So I think some I've shown in previous videos the like history and geography topics and the science topics are not the ones that they have kind of updated to. They're updating like their science topics by grade to match the national science standards. Um, so anyway, so there are four topics in the third grade um, science curriculum for core knowledge. There's habitats and change, weather and climate, investigating forces, and life cycles, traits, and variation. So, what we decided to do was to purchase the readers. I want to say these were about $5.95 each. You could print these though if you wanted to. I just was, I've been printing so much. <laughs> so we went ahead and purchased the readers and then I printed um, the teacher guide. I also have this um, Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners because the topics coincide with um, a lot of these, um, what we're doing in here. In fact, I think they all match up. So I have this, if we want to tear these out and use them along with, we can. Um, 
And then just to kind of give you a glimpse into, this is the teacher guide. You can purchase these as well. Um, but I chose just to print them myself. And you can kind of see how it's laid out. But what I really like about this, and especially for science, um, it gives you kind of the overall idea of this unit. It tells you um, let's see. Oh, here. So the way the core knowledge program works is it builds on what they already know. This section right here is really helpful for me because we have not done core knowledge since the beginning. So this kind of tells you the information that they would have retained from previous core knowledge uh, units and previous grades and then the content that they will learn in this unit. So this is good for me to kind of go through and see does she know these things you know maybe we need to backtrack a little before we start this unit um, so to me that's really helpful and let's see yeah so what the students should already know and it's very clear about what um, what they need to learn what they what their takeaway should be um, from each of these units and each of these lessons, which again, for me is helpful. One of the things that I found difficult when we used kind of the one age, one curriculum fits all ages, um, a lot of the homeschool curriculum that's designed for multiple ages, is that I have a hard time knowing really what portion of this should she at seven, she's eight now, but at seven really be retaining, really knowing, and this really is focused in on her grade level and, um, it's very clear on what it is that they should be knowing, should be taking away. So I really like that. It goes through what teachers need to know, how to use the student reader, how to use the teacher's guide. It gives you um, pacing recommendations. Here's kind of a summary of here's the part. There's three lessons in this part, and here's like the main question of each um, lesson. So I find that really helpful. Um, there's teaching strategies. This is all the materials and equipment you'll need by lesson. Most of it's, you know, nothing spe spectacular. It's all stuff you'd have. And then they give a sample pacing guide um, here. So if you want to follow their pacing, you can. And then we get into the overview of part A. What's the story? What's going to go on in lesson one, lesson two, lesson three? Oh, my battery's getting low. And learning objectives at a glance, core vocabulary, the core lesson, focus on the big question. It's just, to me, it's really helpful and very thorough and very age appropriate. And then it gets into the very first lesson and it goes from there. In the back, it has all of the, I printed all the lesson plans double-sided and then the activity pages I printed single-sided so that I could just take them out of here um, when I need them. So all the activity pages that they mention in the lesson plans are here and yeah. So I printed each of the unit's teacher guides. So we have weather and climate, we have habitats and change, investigating forces and then the life cycle traits and variations and like I said we'll have the readers to go along with them and that's what they look like So that is what we are doing for third grade. All right, moving on to history. We decided that this year we are going to do U.S. history. We were going to follow core knowledge, um, but we decided we really wanted to focus on U.S. history. So we pulled out the, we have all of the books, the readers we purchased for first grade, second grade, and third grade. We also have kindergarten because I have an upcoming kindergartner. Um, so we pulled all of the ones that relate to U.S. history up to the Civil War. So we're going to use those, but I'm probably not gonna use the teacher guides with these, which I'll explain kind of in a minute, but 
Um, I do like the readers and I think they're well done. But what we're going to use as kind of our main guide is this complete book of United States history. They also make a world history one, which we have as well. I just think they're really well done. This you have to purchase used. They don't print it anymore. Um, is this Scholastic? Who is this? Oh, McGraw-Hill. So this I think I got on eBay, or not on eBay, on Amazon for like $10. And this is what it covers. And we are thinking we will get to the Civil War in this next school year. I don't know if we'll get up to the Civil War or if we'll go through the Civil War. I still have to really sit down and finish planning, but this is kind of how this book is laid out. So I think um, we will read aloud from here and I will just plan kind of more in the way of unit studies, which is partly what I like about Cornell, which is it kind of um, lends itself to that type of study and instruction a little bit. So um, anyway, this is what this book looks like. I'll just kind of flip through so you can see. There are some um, little like worksheets you could copy out. I don't know if we'll do those or not, but this is really just gonna guide us through history so we don't leave anything out. And we have lots of other things to add in, which I will show you as we do each individual unit. Um, I will show you all the resources we have pulled. Um, but going back to the core knowledge books, the ones for third grade are Exploration of North America, the 13 Colonies, the Earliest Americans. There were others, but these were the only ones that related to U.S. history. And then I think these are the second grade ones, which we're going to go ahead and use because I think they have a lot of really good information in them. So we have Americans Midwest, the War of 1812, Making the Constitution, the Civil War, and Immigration and Citizenship. Mm. We will probably just use parts of this one. And then these are the first grade ones, Early Explorers and Settlers. Again, you could print these in their entirety from their website for free. Um, we chose to buy the readers because I just liked how they were bound and just easier for me. And then if I want the teacher guides, I'll print them. But I think for history, I'm okay without the teacher guides. So well, you saw what these were. I didn't need to say them. Exploring the West from Colonies to Independence, Early Explorers and Settlers. So the other component that Core Knowledge has to their history and geography programs are um, called timeline cards. Again, you can purchase these from them or you can print them yourself. So they, and if you have a printer that's not doing funky things, they're really beautiful um, illustrations, but these just take you through each chapter in the reader with kind of the big question there. So you can kind of um, keep track of the timeline. So they have these for each of their, I'm not gonna show you all of them, but they have these for all of their history and geography um, readers, units, whatever you want to call them. So we have a lot of other things we're pulling. We're going to be doing the American Girl books. We're going to be doing history pockets from Evan Moore. Um, a whole lot of fun stuff. So um, I, again, I'll show you those as we prepare to do each unit. But this is kind of the core of our history for this right. year. Even though we are doing US history, we are also still doing social studies. Um, we compared two different um, social studies books, the Scott Forsman, which we used for second grade and I, we liked. I had the third grade one, which is called Communities. And then also we got this Pearson one, who I think they're all owned by the same company now, but I could not decide. I really liked the Scott Forsman one, just the layout of it. Um, so my husband and I literally sat down and went page by page because the lessons are exactly the same. The topics are all the same. This one is a little bit newer. He really compared the information. I really was more focused on which one I liked the look of better. I'm very much like a visual aesthetic kind of person. Um, but he really sat down and looked at the information and he preferred this one. So this is what we were going with. We actually were going to do this last year for second grade social studies but she just wasn't able to work independently enough. Um, and it seemed like a lot of busy work, I guess, at the time for her age. I think that this will be okay for third grade. Um, and we can still use it 
in the same way we did her second grade one, which we sat down and read it together. Um, it just has the worksheet pages kind of included in it. So I think this will be a good fit. We still have the Scott Forsman one if we decide to go that route. I bought both of these used for very cheap. Um, uh, one off eBay, I think, and one off Amazon. So at any rate, this is what we're going to do for social studies. And you can kind of see what is included as far as the topic. Some of this will overlap in areas with our history, and that's okay. But I like that this includes some mapping skills, um, some more political science types of things, um, consumer types of things. So, anyway, that is what we're doing for social studies. All right, for writing, we are doing Essentials in Writing Grade 3. And we chose, you can get um, the lessons online or you can get DVDs. We chose to do the DVDs. And it, um, you can kind of see here, I think you do a page a day, let's see. Basically it just tells you everything to do. So I guess you don't have to do one day, um, you don't have to do it every day of the week necessarily. But day one, look at lesson 1A worksheet, watch video lesson one, complete lesson 1A written work. And then student explains what he or she learned. So, um... Oh, and it kind of sh shows you the topics. Where? Where are the topics? Oh, here we go. What is writing? Simple sentences, complete subjects and predicates, simple subjects, simple predicates, sentence fragment, run on sentence error, declarative and interrogative sentences, imperative sentences, identifying nouns, spelling plural nouns, identifying proper nouns, identifying pronouns. I won't read them all to you. You can kind of see. Um, the first part is really focused a lot on grammar, which we did grammar this year, but she needs more in depth and I think this will be good. And then it gets into parts of a letter, the parts of a paragraph, um, graphic organizer, introducing narrative, descriptive writing, the writing process, and so on. So. That is what we were doing for writing. I realized I didn't show you, um, in addition to the video lessons, I didn't really show you what any of the um, lesson, like worksheets look like. So you can get an idea here for what that looks like. So I think for each one of these, um, Worksheets, there is a video lesson that goes with it. So that is that. We're also doing a literature program this year, and I chose, not sure if I'm saying this right, but the Mostos, Mostos Press Opal. Um, now, I went ahead and purchased the teacher guides, which these things are massive. Um, I got these from Timberdoodle. I found the workbook on eBay for really cheap. It had one page written in, which I just erased. I don't know where it is now, but you can kind of, yeah, it had one page written in, which I erased, and then I also got the readers um, on eBay. I will say that these are expensive new, and they're hard to find at a good price used, so just FYI. Um, but I'm excited about this. I really, um, I think this is going to be a good fit. I generally don't like teacher guides, however... I do like this one. I like that it tells me everything that I might need to know in sharing this literature with my child. Um, so this is what the child has seen, and then there's information for the teacher along the side here. So that's kind of what the teacher guide looks like. Um, Let's see. Here is what an example of the student reader. There are two readers. Um, here we go. All about story. All about plot. All about characters. And 
then it moves into the next story. And then what I liked in the workbook, there is vocabulary, there are word families, there is, um, there are other activities, narrative elements. It's just, I just think it's done really well. So I'm excited about this. And I think it's going to hopefully work well. So that is what that looks like for literature. Here is a look into the second book in the literature unit. This one gets into all about setting, all about theme, and the grand finale. Look at that little guy. like there's some good good stories in here I think it'll be good all right for spelling I have two options here I'm not sure which we're going to do we're doing spelling you see right now and I do really like it I think it's helping her spelling but it's still a bit too early we started it um, just actually a few months ago we're only on like lesson 12 or 13 um, but I like it and she doesn't complain about it, which is huge because she always complains when there's a lot of writing. I like, um, level D, which is what we would do for third grade because it really goes along with our, um, history studies. So you see all of the selections, um, that they would be copying link back to us history. So I do like that. Um, so I think we're going to do it. But if it proves to be too much, I'm not sure. I don't know. But we have this as an option. And then I also picked up the Spectrum Spelling for grade three. I really, from a curriculum standpoint, um, I really like the Spectrum books. I think they're really well done. So we picked up this one for grade three. Let me get to a lesson at the beginning so I can show you. So it has a certain um, spelling rule that it focuses on, and I believe there's four pages in the lesson. And then there's a review for every few lessons. So this is what the grade three one covers. So I don't know if we'll do both, if we'll just do this one. I don't know, but this wasn't expensive enough that I just wanted to have it, and then I'll make my final decision. Um, I'm not sure, I don't, I have one other thing for, oops, let me see if I can get it, for handwriting. Oh, my piles are falling. There goes social studies. Okay, um, so we learned cursive this year and she's still practicing it. So I picked up this United States Presidents and Citizens. We are not going to like hone in on a lot of presidents this year that's probably going to come in fourth grade um, but I really liked this for some cursive practice so again I'm not positive that we're going to use this I really like it but it might be too much to do this and this so I may just have her do this in cursive um, and kind of call that good so these are kind of things we're still deciding on but I did go ahead and purchase them for this year so our plan is to use them, but we're, we're still kind of fine tuning that. We are not doing a specific vocabulary program for a couple of reasons. I feel like she learns vocabulary best through reading and there are a lot of activities within um, all of our other subjects where we will be talking about vocabulary. Um, and in addition to that, this uh, song school Latin we'd actually purchased to do in second grade and we did not do it. So. My plan is to do this for third grade with my third grader and my kindergartner this year. And along with this, for her anyway, I have fab vocab Greek and Latin roots and I have word roots beginning. I'm not sure which one of these I want to use, but we will do this kind of along with our song school Latin, I think. Um, so that's really going to cover kind of a vocab. It's going to cover spelling a lot too. So these are kind of things that I'm still figuring out that I'm not 
solid on just yet, but we have those. We also still have this All About Homophones, um, so we will do this, you know, alongside things as well. Okay, we have Nature Notebook. I bought these for last year, and we did not do it. So my hope is that we can do them this year. This is, I believe, from The Good and the Beautiful. So each of my kids have one of these. We're going to do those together. And I decided to do a health textbook this year, so I ordered this one used on Amazon. It's Harcourt Health and Fitness. There is a workbook you can get to go with it um, and a teacher manual and all that. We're not doing that. This kind of reminds me of the Scott Forsman um, Social Studies we can sit and read through it. It is a little older, but with the exception of the legality of marijuana, um, everything else seems to be perfectly fine and not out of date. So I like how colorful this is. Um, we can read through it either together, she can read through it on her own, and then we can do the, you know, the questions and things at the end. So I'm kind of excited about this. I think it'll be a good one. Um, let's see, for art. So... Another thing we bought for last year and didn't get through was how to teach art to children. So I'm going to try to use this for both my kids for kindergarten and third grade this year. We did a very few of the exercises in the, in the beginning. What we ended up doing instead was a lot of YouTube drawing tutorials. Um, and they just like to paint and do things on their own. So that's really what we did a lot of this year. But this is what we're going to try to use so we can also incorporate some art appreciation um, with the projects in the back which highlight um, famous artists so and I think my five-year-old will be able to do this too even though it says um, grades one to six and then in addition for her we started this book this year and I think it was she got a little frustrated so I think holding off until third grade will be better but this is a graphic novel that teaches you how to draw and she I had her and my husband kind of do this together um, but it's a really interesting concept and I I just think it's fabulous so but it teaches them a lot of things like shading and perspective and all kind of through this graphic novel story so this we will definitely um, we'll just start it over. We only did, I think she only did the first couple chapters, so we'll just start that over next year and we will do this as well. Um, I also will have her do a journal again this year. We have this and we have a gratitude journal, um, so I'll probably have her alternate between those. All right, let me look behind me and see. Okay, one last thing that I wanted to touch on. This is our kind of world geography of basket that I do with both kids and this is in here because we are waiting for our next Universal Yums box so we are going to continue that throughout the school year um, and I have our scrunch map in here we have this atlas that I really like our geo cards um, this is more for my five-year-old we have these mapping the continents books and then these, um, I actually got a couple years ago, I think Natasha from Educational Roots had showed them in a video and I found them on eBay. So the plan is that when we get a Universal Yums box to find in here, sorry, I'm printing, um, the continent that the box comes from and if that, find the country on the map and then if there is a flag for that country, we can get the sticker and place it um, hmm. place it where it goes on the page. So not all the countries have a spot for a map. We also have a couple packages of these stickers from the Dollar Tree that we thought might cover some. We could just put it on the page. Um, so when we get our Un Universal Yums box each month, that is what we're going to do. I just put this basket together, so um, the other boxes we've gotten, we've we've just kind of pulled stuff, but I thought it would be nice to just, um, when it comes in the mail, we can put the box in here in this basket, and then when we're ready to use it, we can, and I can throw in, um, if I have anything specific to that country, I can toss that in there as well. But So we will be doing some world um, study of geography and... Um, Maybe even a little history, depending on, you know, what extra stuff I put in. So 
this is something that both kids right, will be doing. That is it for kind of the formal part of her third grade curriculum. We will, um, I wanted to leave room to add in the things that she voices an interest in during the year. Um, we will do things on the computer. We will do typing. We will do coding. We will do sewing and cooking and a bunch of other things, but I'm not going to, we'll do them as they fit in. Um, I'm not going to worry about having formal curriculum choices for them right now. My main focus is reading, writing, math, history, science, um, that kind of stuff. So these are our choices for this year. Let me know if you have any questions and I will, there will be a video soon of my kindergartner's curriculum choices for fall as well.